the government lies to us about the amount of uh, um, unemployment and they lie to us about the amount of uh, destruction of the currency. People in the middle class are getting poorer. The country is shrinking in size as far as the middle class goes. There's not been really significant economic growth since the year 2000. And uh, people know it. They know there's something wrong. But you cannot produce wealth by the Federal Reserve creating a lot of money. And when they do it in secret, guess what? The special interests get the benefits, the ones that have already been benefiting. So when the crisis hits, the Congress and the Federal Reserve rushes to bail out Wall Streets and the banks and the Goldman Sachs of the world. Oh. Facilitator, the Fed will end when we restore liberty to this country and when we restore the rule of law and believe in our Constitution. There is no authority for a central bank nor paper money in our Constitution. But the basic thing that we have to understand is what is personal liberty all about? We know what Jefferson thought about it. It was a God-given right to our life and our liberty, and it should be a God-given right to keep everything we earn. Yeah! ago, approximately, freedom was chopped up into two pieces, and, that's, and, and because it's divided, it gets whittled away, and that's why we're in this mess. But freedom for the individual means that you have personal liberty, you have your religious liberties, you have your intellectual liberties, but you also should have your liberties to run your personal lives as you want to run your personal lives. That is why... That is why you have to endorse this very, very extreme view, and I saw a sign here today, this extreme view that you ought to have the right to drink raw milk if you want. But the problem with this is one side protected social liberties, the other side tried to protect economic liberties, neither side have done a very good job, but the freedom movement is now saying we really want to protect economic liberty, we really want to protect personal liberty, we need to put it back together, and guess what happens? All of a sudden you bring people together. Not because, not because we have the same religious views, not because we want to read the same books, and not because we want to practice our social lifestyles the same. Matter of fact, it's exactly the opposite. We come together because we want to protect our freedom of choice, so we should come together for those reasons. I think a lot of that is happening. Uh, we've been very encouraged with what uh, our trip has been in the last month. We've probably been to about 20 campuses, and uh, the low numbers are 2,500, 8,000 sometimes. But we don't know. We don't know exactly what will come out next week with our primary. We don't know exactly what will come out in uh, August. We think good things will come of it. November, but we do know what is happening in the country and how people are waking up yeah. and how many people now endorse the principles of liberty and like I have said so many times that you know an idea whose time has come cannot be stopped by armies or by the politicians. optimistic about the way things are going, but not to be complacent. To be complacent means that we wouldn't be here, we wouldn't be concerned, we wouldn't be trying to get Ted in there to help Rand, and all these things. So uh, there's, there's reason to be optimistic, but it's ideology that is important. Uh, the one individual can't do it. You have to have you have to have support, and I think this is what's coming. We are changing the hearts and minds of so many people. 